Glory Divine World Ministries is a place to call home. Come and allow God to unleash your potential, purpose, and destiny. The way, the truth, and the life, and nobody comes to the Father except through Him and through the blood of Jesus. Because of His unconditional love, hallelujah, He sent His only begotten Son, and that is Jesus Christ, to die so He can reconcile Himself to you. Glory Divine Family. You never choose Jesus. He chose you. Welcome to Glory Divine Network TV with your host Apostle Ryan Suknanan. Let's get ready to listen to the divinely inspired Word of God. I ask Sister Veronica to open in a word of prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Father, it's in prayer. Father, we come to the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for keeping us. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for keeping your promises upon our lives, O oh Lord. We thank you, Heavenly Father, that whatever we're about to do, God, is for your glory, O oh God. And we believe, Lord God Almighty, it won't be by might, it won't be by power, but it will be by your spirit, O oh God. We pray that you lead us, you guide us as we continue. Continue, oh God. We thank you for your son, O oh God. Let your word penetrate into our hearts, O oh Lord. Let, let us practice it in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray that you have your way and take control. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, Praise the Lord. Amen. I greet you all in the powerful name of the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Are you excited to be found in the presence of God? Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And I believe today it's our second day of our sacrificial fast, amen. amen. And I think we are going strong. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And I know for sure that God is doing something wonderful in our lives. Hallelujah. Amen. amen. And to our online viewers, you are welcome to join us as we praise and as we glorify the Lord. Amen. amen. Before we start, are there any new people? If you are joining us for the first time, can you raise your hand so that we can welcome you? You're welcome, my sisters, this side. Praise the Lord. Amen. Are you ready to glorify God this evening? Come on, somebody. Are you ready to glorify God this evening? Praise the Lord. Be all right. Oh, oh, oh. 
right place, right time to receive from the Lord. Yeah, now look at the other neighbor. Find a neighbor. Say neighbor, right place for me and for you to fellowship in unity under Christ. Can somebody give God a praise? Can somebody give God an offering of worship? Hallelujah. Come on, church. Let's continue praising the Lord. Come on, everybody. Let's pray. Jesus, here we go. Come on.
his place. Amen. Hallelujah. You may take uh, seats for just two minutes. Uh, if I may ask uh, the congregation, everybody, the question is, do we trust God? Amen. Do we trust God that he can heal us? Amen. Yes, you can hear that. Amen. Yes. Do we trust God that he can supply our needs? Amen. But can we trust God with our finances? Hallelujah. Yes. We can. Amen. But do we trust God with our finances? Amen. Praise the Lord. Okay, let's read. You, you've heard all of us. You have given the answer. Yes. It means we trust God with our finances. But God gave me a different answer today. <laughs> That yes, I do trust him, but I don't trust him with my finances. Yes. We can say we trust him. But how do you know that you trust him? The way you give unto him Amen. indicates how you trust him. Amen. If always when you give unto God, you give him, you start by paying all your debts and everything, and you give the rest to him, does it mean you trust him? No. no. If you... You, you, you complain when you're supposed to give unto God. Do you trust him? Most of us, we do. Ne? Remember, I'm saying it's me. I'm not sure about you. God was talking to me. So everything that I'm talking is referring to me. I'm not sure about you. Amen? Amen. But the scripture says in... It says, give and you will, you will receive. Your gift returned to you in full, pressed down, shaken together to make room for more. Running over and poured into your lap. The amount you give will determine the amount you get back. Amen. It's not me, it's the word of God. Yes. Most of us, we want to give uh, 100 rents, but we want God to give us more. Hallelujah. Amen. Remember, when God speaks about the measure, there are billionaires here in the house, ne? Amen. and there are millionaires, and there are thousandaires, and I don't want to talk about the rest. So it means when you are a billionaire, God expects you to give as a billionaire. Amen. When you are a thousandaire, God expects you to give as a thousandaire. So I'm leaving that question to you, whether do you trust God with your finances? So we'll see on Sunday next. <laughs> Praise the Lord. We'll see on Sunday if we really trust God with our finances. Amen. Amen. I'll ask Ella Day to pray for the offering. Father, we thank you that your word reminds us, oh God, that we will trust in you with all our hearts tonight, oh God. So as we put our trust in you and as we sow our tithes and our offering, oh Lord, we know, Father God, that you will perform your word in our lives and we know that these finances will be used for the extension of your kingdom in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Great, great, great power, great favor, it's upon you. Great grace, great power, great favor, it's upon you.
Father, we know that every day your name is the same. You will never change. Your word says you are the same God today, yesterday, and forevermore. We acknowledge you as we give you glory. Father, as it's our time for worship, we ask you, Father God, let your authority, let your anointing, let your presence enthrone us this evening. Father, your word reminds us not our will, but let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We thank you, dear God, as we give you praise, as we give you worship, as we give you honor. In everything we do, everything that has breath, praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Father, we worship you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, thank you, Lord. Is heilig meer, hy is heilig, hy is heilig meer, hy is heilig, hy is heilig meer, hy is heilig, hy is heilig meer, hy is heilig. Come on, church. He is a lach meyer. He is a lach. He is a lach. Daar is niemand zo scheef. He is a lach meyer. He is a lach. He is a lach meyer. He is a lach. He is a lach meyer. your name. Father, we give you glory. Father, you are holy. You are holy, my Lord. Yes, you are Jesus. Somebody 
mighty magnify the Savior. Tell Jesus how much you love him. He's an all sufficient God. The Bible says that he is the all knowing God. If you believe that, say you are holy, Jesus. Lift up all hands unto God. Open your hearts in worship. Yes, you are holy, my God. We worship you tonight. We adore and we glorify your holy name, my God. We exalt you. We give you honor, we give you praise, we give you adoration, my God. You are enthroned on high, Spirit of the living God. We give you preeminence in this place. Lord, we love you, we worship you, we glorify you this morning, this evening. We give you thanks. We do adore you. Lord, thou art the supernatural God, the omnipotent God, the omnipresent God, the omniscient God, the omnipresent God, the all-knowing, all-pervading God, the matchless God. Thou art exalted, the Lord of more than enough, the Lord of breakthrough, the Lord of favor, the Lord that heals us. The Lord that raises up a standard against the devourer. The Lord that gives us peace. The Lord that rolls our problem away. In the mighty name of Jesus, we give you glory tonight. Uh, Spirit of the living God, breathe upon us tonight. Uh, let your holy wind breathe upon us. Blow away every sickness, uh, blow away every problem, uh, blow away every difficulties, uh, blow away every hurdles, uh, blow away everything that is taking our joy and peace away, oh God. Wind of the Holy Ghost, uh, come, freshen us, refresh us tonight, revive us tonight, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, thou art holy. Thank you, Jesus. Heavenly Father, we first of all acknowledge your presence. We acknowledge your glory. We acknowledge your anointing in this place. We know, oh God, that your wind is blowing. Your spirit is moving. 
the water is stirred for healings, for miracles, for deliverance, for breakthrough, for favor, O oh God. Shackles and chains to break, bondages to be broken, captives to be set free. Your blood has never lost its power. Your blood is flowing upon us right now. Those that are online, your blood is flowing, uh, cleansing the homes, uh, cleansing the lives of your children, O oh God. Uh, every shackles, every chain, every attachment is getting burnt right now as your blood and your fire is falling on your children, O oh God. Lord, as we get ready for your word, speak to us. Give us direction, my God. Give us instruction, my God. Encourage us to hold on to run this race until the end of God. For none to quit, none to get tired, my God. But to look unto you as the author and the finisher of our faith. Lord, those that are sick tonight, I pray that they receive healing tonight, O oh God. Your word is a and a man. Nothing is above your word. And I pray, your oh God, for every closed doors to open up. Every hindering forces to be destroyed. Every stoppages and blockages to be removed. Every curses to be destroyed. Can it be generational, hereditary curse? None shall be transferred upon your children. Cleanse the blood of your children, O oh God. I pray, cleanse the blood. Let every blood sickness be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I prophesy life. None shall die early. Though they shall live a long life, O oh God. With old age, you shall satisfy your children. Lord, that none shall beg for bread. There shall be sufficient. There shall be more than enough. There shall be an increase. There shall be an overflow. There shall be an abundance coming to your children, O oh God. Let destiny help us come right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I commit myself as a minister your word, O oh God. Let your word fall on good grounds. Every ear to be attentive. Every heart to be receptive, O oh God. Those that are online, touch them, O oh God. As they share this message to touch other lives. In the mighty name of Jesus. And all God's children say, Amen. Hallelujah. Let's give the Lord a hand. Amen. Glory to God. You may be seated. Let's give the praise and worship team a hand, the leadership, and give yourself a hand. The water is there, the glory of God is here, the anointing of God is already in our midst. And I believe as we are praising and worshiping, God was receiving the glory. Amen. And the presence of God was saturating our heart. So you are already blessed. Say, I'm blessed. Amen and amen. How many of you are blessed on Sunday? Glory to God. God is good. God is good. Hallelujah. Amen. I was asking God what to minister tonight as we are in the second day of our fast. I wanted to, you know, minister on prayer and fasting, the results of prayer and fasting, and, uh, you know, to encourage and motivate you. But there's something else that God has laid upon my heart. Uh, and the title is Get Back in the Race. Hallelujah. Get back in the race tell your neighbor get back in the race hallelujah the word of God says in Hebrews 12 verse 1 to 3 Hebrews 12 verse 1 to 3 the New King James Version therefore we also since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Looking unto Jesus. Say, looking unto Jesus. The author and the finisher of our faith. Who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross. Despising the shame. And has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Get back in the race. Hallelujah. I talk to those that are seated here, those that are online. Some of you have got out of the race. You are tired. You went through stuffs in your life. 
You had setbacks in your life. You went into difficult times, experienced difficult times. Hallelujah. Your oil in your lamp ran dry. You lost your passion and zeal. Somehow you backslided and you got off the race. And I'm talking to you tonight for you to get back on the race because as a Christian, we cannot quit. Hallelujah. Quitters never win and winners never quit. So the Bible does not promote that Christian life is going to be easy. So I'm not going to stand here and tell you lies or preach something that is not in the Bible. Hallelujah. Keep that for the false prophet. Hallelujah. That is after your money. Amen. In fact, often, hallelujah, the opposite is true. As a child of God, you are going to face problems. You are going to face trials and tribulation. You might go through the valley of sickness. You might experience some bad reports and negative reports in your life. But as a child of God, the Bible says, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith. Hallelujah. Not looking unto your friend. Not looking unto medicines. Not looking unto doctors. Yes, go to the doctors. Go and take your medicine. Hallelujah. But that is not your source. Hallelujah. Take the medicines, put it on your hand and say, Lord, let this medicine cure me. Let it become the balm of Gilead. Pray over every medicine you take in the mighty name of Jesus. John 16 verse 33, the Bible says, these things I have spoken to you that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Hallelujah. So if Jesus has overcome everything that you are going through, in him you will also overcome. Hallelujah. When you are going through stuff, it's going to be tough. We are human beings, we have feelings, we feel pain, we are emotional beings. We're going to get tired, hallelujah, we're going to feel the pain. But in your pain, hallelujah, never let go of the garment of Jesus. Amen. Sometimes you will knock at doors and doors and the doors shall not open up. Hallelujah. Deals will not come through. Your business is going down. Your name is on the retrenchment list. You've got a doctor's report. You've got a building project to finish and you don't have the money. We all will go through trials and tribulation. Hallelujah. But let me tell you, Jesus is faithful to his word. Hallelujah. There might be a season of delay, but let me tell you, the season of more than enough is coming. The culture of the kingdom of God is, listen to this, the culture of the kingdom of God is that everything gets better to those whose trust is in God. Hallelujah. Another culture of the kingdom is increase and multiplication. Hallelujah. That is the culture of the kingdom. If you are practicing the principles of God, if you are trusting in God, God, the culture of the kingdom is increased abundance overflow hallelujah in the mighty name of Jesus and that everything gets better seasons change hallelujah glory to God so don't get off the race difficulties will come and trials will cross our paths we will be tempted to quit on God and drop out of the race hallelujah and many have done that they're all excited in the beginning. The power of God hit them. They're excited. They got a good experience with God. They're bubbling with joy. But when it settles down and the realities of life gets to you, you put God in the back seat. No, that's the time. Put God on your driver's seat. Hallelujah. And when you put God on the driver's seat, the devil will have to move into the trunk in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory. Let's give him a hand. Hallelujah. Amen. As soon as you take a step, back. The cares of the world will choke you. As soon as you take a, stand, uh, a step back, hallelujah, the joy leaves you, the peace leaves you, and suddenly you will have to face your troubles yourself. And let me tell you, you are not created to face your troubles yourself. The Bible says, cast your cares upon me because I care for you. Come unto me, all that are heavy laden and burdened, and I will give you rest. Hallelujah. It's so good to be restful in the midst of problems because the problem solver Jesus Christ is handling your situation. 
Glory to God. Hallelujah. Paul is encouraging the Hebrew believers to endure in the midst of trials and persecution. Finish the race. The author of Hebrews is comparing a Christian life to a race. Hallelujah. He isn't talking about a hundred meter sprint here. Hallelujah. Instead, he is referring to a marathon, a long haul. You're going to run, and then 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 you're going to run. Hallelujah. It's not a sprint and say, I serve Christ three months. I'm going to take a three month backsliding holiday. Hallelujah. No. You're going to wake up in the morning, take up your cross. The cross is going to get heavy. Hallelujah. You're going to hold up the cross and you're going to walk. That is why the Bible says, take up your cross on a daily basis. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 This race requires endurance and preparation. You cannot run this race without preparation. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, you've got to prepare for this race. Hallelujah. It's easy to be discouraged. It's easy to drop out. It's easy to blame God. It's easy to blame your friends. Hallelujah. It's easy to feel like a victim that God is against you. Why every doors are closing. Hallelujah. It's easy when the pressure and the wind and the storm blows upon you. Hallelujah. To go into a pity party and feel sorry for yourself. Hallelujah. It's not easy to come to church, lift up holy hands when there's no food in your cupboard when there's no money in your bank hallelujah when your marriage is going down the rocks uh, your children are disobedient hallelujah but I'm here to tell you never serve God with feeling serve God with faith hallelujah we do not live by sight but we live by faith hallelujah faith says uh, we are hoping for things that are not seen but the evidence is already there if God said it let it be so let the devil be a liar today it might be raining but tomorrow the sunshine shall happen I will hold on to God I will never give up I will push on I will persevere I will endure hallelujah temptation may come but I will resist the devil I will hold on to God and God shall deliver me my time of rejoicing shall come hallelujah there will be money in my bank my cupboards will get full destiny helpers shall come hallelujah God is raising somebody somewhere who's going to take my name and my name shall be called out and that shall be my opportunity and those who laughed at me shall come and rejoice and say it can only be God tell your neighbor things get better in the kingdom of God things get better in the kingdom of God but don't quit on God don't get off the race hallelujah those that are online right now I'm talking into your spirit it's not time to quit it's not time to sit at home it's time to rise up and when you move God is going to move already start making a plan that Sunday you will be in the house of God and God will make a way somebody shall come to you and say brother sister I have transport let us go into the house of God us today and let God take control in the mighty name of Jesus so it's easy to be discouraged and drop out it's easy to let others do the running while you are a spectator and you are watching and you are judging and you are criticizing and you are assuming and you are presuming and you are saying oh that person might fall hallelujah no go with that person encourage that person hallelujah if he falls pick him up hallelujah be somebody's brother's keeper or sister's keeper hallelujah stop being a spectator join the race even if you fall down dust the dust God is not looking to judge you hallelujah God is looking hallelujah with his arms wide open to strengthen you and to pick you up so you can finish the race the Bible says that Jesus said I will send you another comforter a comforter in Greek is parakleto another one just like Jesus who will counsel you who will comfort you who will be your advocate who will be your friend who will be somebody that will anoint you appoint you strengthen you endorse you hallelujah and hold you and walk with you that is the Holy Spirit uh, living inside of you God is not judging you God wants to applaud you God wants to see you finish the race uh, God wants you to reach potential uh, 
God wants you to accomplish purpose. Uh, God wants you to be prosperous. Uh, God doesn't want to harm you. He wants you to sit in top places. Uh, he wants to open palaces uh, and king's places. Uh, he wants you to dine with great men and women. Uh, he wants to open great doors for you. He wants to send opportunities your way. Uh, he wants to heal you. He wants to deliver you. He wants to break every chain and bondages. Uh, he wants to take glory out of you. How much glory God will get when you come rejoicing and praising God, leaping and jumping and testifying about his goodness. God doesn't want you poor. God doesn't want you sorrowful. God doesn't want you to stay in begging street and struggling street. God wants you to be successful. God wants you to be on top. God wants you to be a lender and not a borrower. God wants your barns to be full. God wants you to overflow and increase. God wants you to be somebody that people will say that is somebody that God has changed. Hallelujah. Let's give him a hand tonight. So don't give up. Don't give up. 2 Timothy 4 verse 7. 2 Timothy 4 verse 7. Apostle Paul said, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my cause. I have kept the face. And then Hebrews 12, 1, Therefore we also, once we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses. So we've got to consider those who did not give up. All the cloud of witnesses is watching. Who is the cloud of witnesses? Hebrews 11, verse 4 to 11. Hebrews 4, 11, verse 4 to 11, the cloud of witness. By faith, Abel offered to God a more excellent sacrifice than case. Abel is a cloud of witness. By faith, Enoch was taken away so that he did not see death. He finished the race. Is a cloud of witness. By faith, Noah, being divinely warned of things not yet seen, moved with godly fear, prepared an ark for the saving of his household. By faith, Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to the place which he would receive as an inheritance. By faith, Sarah herself also received strength. These are all cloud of witnesses. Hallelujah. Cloud of witnesses. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And uh, Hebrews 12, 1 says, Therefore we are also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses. Hallelujah. Witnesses that testifying that I made it. I was not perfect, but I made it. Abraham lied. Hallelujah. Amen. Abraham lied that, is, that Sarah is not his wife. And he knew that just now Sarah might even sleep with the king. Hallelujah. Amen. The king could take, him, take her for a wife. He lied. He was scared. Hallelujah. Amen. Abraham had a promise from God that Isaac will be a son of promise. But he went and he got his maid and made another child. Hallelujah. They were, they were not perfect people. Amen. But they are cloud of witness. By faith they finished the race. Hallelujah. And I want to encourage you. You may be not perfect right now. You have done some things that you are ashamed of. There must be certain things that comes and eats your conscience. Hallelujah. Amen. But I'm here to tell you. Your conscience is clean right now. By the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Your blood. The blood of Jesus. Uh, has taken your sin. As far as the east is from the west. Uh, and has purified you right now. You are right in the presence of God. With a clear conscience. Because. Jesus had paid the price for a sinner like you, for a sinner like me, so you and I can stand perfect in the presence of God and be holy and acceptable knowing that our prayers are being answered right now as we are talking, we are seated in high places, we might not be perfect, but thank God that Jesus was perfect we, were, we are not righteous but thank God Jesus was righteous a perfect dying for the imperfect, Hallelujah. So the imperfect can become perfect through the blood of an almighty God, Jesus Christ. They were not perfect. They were not perfect. David was an adulteress. Hallelujah. David was the first person that watched blue movies. Hallelujah. Watching there from his window there, Bathsheba having a bath there. Hallelujah. Amen. 
and then he goes and gets uh, her husband killed and take her hallelujah amen but the bible says god says david was after my own heart hallelujah i'm here to tell you you can change you can ask for repentance in the mighty name of jesus your past is your past your past is under the blood if somebody reminds you of of your past it's not god it's the devil's messengers that wants to put you down because god will show you your future the devil will show you your past and i'm here to tell you you have a bright future hallelujah there's something great waiting for you right in the front and god is going to take you there never let go never jump out of this race in the name of jesus hallelujah hebrews 11 the author mentions heroes of faith may you be heroes of faith hallelujah in the mighty name of those that i'm speaking people hundreds people communicate with me hallelujah from all over the world of how my soul food touches them in the mighty name of jesus i got 10000 subscribers but 10000 sends it to 10 15 20 people is going to hundreds of thousands a day and touching life it's gone to russia it's gone to switzerland it's gone to mauritius it's gone to india it's even gone to alaska Hallelujah people are being touched all over the world with the word of God and the word of God is transforming people's lives in the mighty name of Jesus hallelujah amen so these men heroes of faith were not strong they were not strong hallelujah but they trusted in God Amen. They were weak but they got up and they pushed on with the mission, pushed on with the goal, pushed on with the call. They never quit. Hallelujah. They never get offended. They never throw in the towel. They never looked for man's approval, but they knew that God has tasked them with something. They had an assignment which they needed to finish and they looked unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of the faith, and they got up and they moved. They got up and they moved. They They got up and they moved and they became heroes of faith and they finished the race hallelujah and i want to encourage you this morning never quit hallelujah you might not be recognized you might not be back patted and complimented hallelujah but i'm here to tell you god watches every move everything that you do when you wake up in the morning before you sleep god watches god knows your heart hallelujah amen no man can stop what god has ordained for you what is coming for you shall come for you and no man can stop press a good man and a good woman whether it's in church whether it's your workplace wherever whatever you sow you shall reap and if you are sowing to God and if you are moving with the assignment of God I'm here to tell you harvest is coming payday is coming reward is coming wages is coming never give up never give up never give up never lose heart do not get weary in doing good in due season the reward what shall come in Jesus name you are fasting the second day of fast the heavenlies are smiling at you hallelujah angels are moving right now on your behalf doors are opening you might not see it with your natural eyes destruction that was about to come to you is being cancelled in the mighty name of Jesus your faith needs to rise it needs to rise to such a limit that it will open the doors of heaven the supernatural will take place in your life you need to get above the natural you need to get above where your eyes sees and you need to see the promises of God you need to see that Jesus is a good god our father is a good father and he wants to give good gifts to all his children so when somebody refuses you don't take it as final until god says if god says yes no man can say no in the mighty name of Jesus So what we can learn from this cloud of witnesses Noah standing and watching Abraham is watching Paul is there Peter is there Sarah is there Timothy is there Hallelujah telling you come come let's go You can make it You can make it you tired you quitting you're going to give up you're offended you this you hurt you're going to leave the church you're going to quit no these witnesses said come on you're going to make it 
Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Give yourself a pat, wake up, go on, push on, persevere on. There's a reward coming. Finish the race, finish the race. And I pray those that are watching that quit, hallelujah. I pray that God strengthened you, that you come back to church. Hallelujah. Be fed in the presence of God. Be nourished in the presence of God. Be under the glory of God. Be under the anointing of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. So these godly people ran in the midst of tests and trials. They did not run perfectly, but they ran. Hallelujah. They did not quit until the race was finished. They endured unspeakable pain and suffering. Still they ran. Hallelujah. Now they are seated in the thrones and watching us running. They encourage and challenge us not to quit. If they can do it, so can we. Hallelujah. They never had supernatural strength. They were not on the same level as us spiritually. Because now we have the Holy Spirit living in us. At that time, the Holy Spirit was not living in them. The Holy Spirit was empowering them from outside. Hallelujah. We have an advantage. We have an advantage. We have the Holy Spirit strengthening us. But you've got to spend time with the Holy Spirit. Every morning I wake up, I say, come Holy Spirit. Before, during the day I pray and I fellowship with the Holy Spirit. In the night I pray, Holy Spirit, as I sleep, I welcome you. I love you. Nowadays I say, Holy Spirit, it's time for me to have fellowship with you. Hallelujah. How many of you are doing that? How many of you are doing that? I say, Holy Spirit, it's time now. Sometimes I just sit in my bed and I'm just with my hand like this. For hours, Holy Spirit, this time I want to have fellowship with you. Talk to me. Talk to me. Download in me. I need to feed your sheep. Download. Download in me. I need revelation. If I don't have revelation, I will minister for my intellectualism. And it's going to be dry. Like brown bread. <laughs> you know, when the crust is hard. <laughs> So I don't want to give you a crust to eat every Sunday. Hallelujah. I want fresh, from this pulpit, freshness must come. Every time we open our mouth, can it be, yeah, worship team, freshness must come. Hallelujah. Imagine me every Sunday and Tuesday preaching the same sermon. As soon as you hear, yeah, oh, let's, not, let's finish the race. Oh, you preached it already. The Bible says, sing a new song. With freshness, coming to his house with psalms, with new songs, with singing, dancing, rejoicing. Hallelujah. Let a fresh wind blow. In the mighty name of the Holy Spirit is there. Ah, come off it, man. You're giving me again butter bread to eat. <laughs> I want biryani and pop and flesh. You're giving me butter bread again. We've got to be fresh. We've got to be fresh. And the only time you can be fresh is when you're trusting God for newness. You're trusting. God can anoint your brains and make your brain so powerful. Hallelujah. God can give you so much of anointing and wisdom, you'll be able to answer any questions. Hallelujah. May that anointing come upon you. May that freshness blow upon you. Hallelujah. Sometimes we don't have to sing the song that other people are singing. We come here, we've got our new song, the Holy Spirit giving you to sing. Hallelujah. When we start going into that worship, hallelujah, it's so powerful. It's so powerful, downloaded from heaven. Amen. You'll feel, every person will feel like electric shock when God starts moving in the might. I pray that that starts happening in the name of Jesus. My desire is for everybody to be touched and soaked under the anointing of God. So you don't have to try to perfect yourself. God's touch will change you. Hallelujah. It will change your family. You will go into your home. Hallelujah. The husband that don't even want to know Christ, the anointing on you will transfer. Hallelujah. Boof, bang, Sunday they come into church. Your drug addict son, your drug addict daughter, hallelujah, will go on their knees because revival will hit them. I pray revival goes into your homes. I pray online revival goes into your churches because some churches are so dry. You're like you'll break them. Hallelujah. We want the fire back in the church. We want Jesus who is alive, the miracle worker, back into the church. Hallelujah. Amen. Say amen. Glory to God. And it all starts here. All starts here. 
but the congregation also have a responsibility. You go home, you pray, and when you come here, you don't come here for the worship team to lead you. You lead yourself. Hallelujah. When you enter his courts, enter his courts with thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Amen. Inside his house with praises. You lift up your hand. You don't wait for the convenient to say, come on, let's praise the Lord. Then your hand go here. Let's praise the Lord. Your hand go here. Hallelujah. No, you must be, that stiffness, you must leave it at home. Hallelujah. You're coming into the praise, presence of God. You are coming here to worship God, connect with God. Your time with God must be constructive, productive, effective. Hallelujah. And when you go out here, you're going out a new person in the name of Jesus. Say, I will finish the race and I'm closing. Hallelujah. James 5, 17 to 18, the Bible says, James 5, 17 to 18. Elijah was a man with a nature just like ours. Hallelujah. You know Elijah, the prophet Elijah. Mighty man of God. And the Bible says he had a nature just like ours. Hallelujah. And he prayed earnestly that it would not rain. And it did not rain on the land for three years and six months. And he prayed again. And the heavens gave rain. And the earth produced its fruit. The people in the Bible were merely common men and women like us. But they had faith. They trusted in God. And they performed miracles. They did great things by obeying and walking in faith. Hallelujah. So these men had finished the race. And as I close, the Bible says, let lay aside all weights. The text scripture, put the text scripture back on. Hallelujah. Lay aside all weights that hinder our race. Hallelujah. Therefore, we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight. Imagine I, I get... Elder Dane and Brother Lucky, two of them from here to run there. And I give him one 50 kg weight to hold. And both of them run. Who will win? Well, I get Brother Kenneth and uh, Sister Sylvia to run. Now, Brother Kenneth, they already talked up with his running shoes, you know. And Sister Sylvia with the high heel shoes. Not ready to run, not talked up to run. She's carrying a weight. Who's going to win? The one that is already prepared and talked up for the race. Hallelujah. Same how in our life, we need preparation to finish this gospel. Now he's talked up. Sneakers and tracksuit and t-shirt and everything represents in today's life, Reading the word of God. Praying in the morning. Coming to church. Coming to church is very, by a belangric. Very, very. So something happening on you right now and you don't know it. You cannot see it with your natural. But spiritually, there's angels fighting your battle in the spiritual. Hallelujah. That's how important it is to be in church. It is God's government on earth. God inst instated the church. Hallelujah. He appointed the ministry in the church for us to be edified as a body of Christ. So him wearing the tuckies ready for his race hallelujah, represents somebody that prays. Somebody that reads the Bible on a daily basis. Somebody that faithfully attends church whether it's raining, whether it's cloudy, whether you got a pimple or what. Hallelujah. Amen. You attend church. Because in church, hallelujah, that is where you edify and you are built up. So when you are built up, when the devil knocks you on Monday, you already got ammunition to hit against, to resist him in the mighty name of Jesus. So and also, the anointing of God is upon you. And on Monday, if you are not in church, you will be so full of weight on you. Hallelujah. Because you did not lay aside the weight on Sunday. Hallelujah. Because Sunday you come, the anointing destroys yoke, the Bible says. Isaiah 10, 27, the anointing destroys yoke. It destroys the weight of burden, the weight of cares, 
the weight of worries, the weight of everything, hallelujah. And Monday you might still have the same problem, but you know God is with you. Hallelujah. So on Monday, you're not walking all burdened up. Hallelujah. Amen. And when the devil comes to mess you up, you get more burdened, more worried. You backslide. Hallelujah. You get into depression. But because you were in the house of God, you laid aside the weight and now you are running the race. Amen. You don't get disqualified in the mind. There's a lot of people say, I can stay at home and pray. Hallelujah. But watch them. Hey, watch them. Hallelujah. After three months, six months, where they end up? Hallelujah. God is not confused. He doesn't make mistakes. His word is proven, tested, and found to be true and faithful in the might. So lay aside every weight. Lay aside every weight. I mean, I'm wearing sand shoe. I can run. Hallelujah. But I'm wearing a big boots here. It's going to hold me back. The cares of the world holds us back. Wrong attachments holds us back. Hallelujah. That is why the Bible says a sower went to sow seeds and the seed fell on thorny grounds and hallelujah sprang up and some got choked and all that is represents who's surrounding you, the cares of the world, your agenda, your priorities because God is not on the top. It represents the weight that holds us back. That is why we cannot run and finish the race. We are not free. Hallelujah. And we are not walking in the blessings of God. God wants to bless us so much. Even the blessed want to call us blessed. Amen. Hallelujah. That's what God, he wants to bless your life, bless your family, bless your business, bless your career, bless your health. That is what God wants. He says, your barns shall be full and it shall overflow. Hallelujah. That's the promise. That's the purpose. That's the promise of God. But you've got to lay aside that weight. You've got to choose to lay aside that weight. And put the scripture on, please. Cloud of witness to lay aside every weight at the sin which so easily ensnares us, which earnestly traps us. Traps us, hallelujah. If something traps you, what happens? It stops your motion, it stops your mobility, it stops you from walking and achieving where God wants to take you. And many people get trapped every day. Hallelujah, in the life because of the weight they're carrying. I pray every weight that is upon you, hallelujah. Every agenda that is not of God to be canceled. Every ensnare, every snare of the devil upon your life. Right now, the door to open up so you shall have freedom and you shall walk into God's purpose. In the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah. And let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. The race is before us, not behind us. Hallelujah. When you are ensnared and trapped, you always take a step backward. Hallelujah. You go two steps and then something comes your way is a weight. Your friend comes, give you an opportunity, not of God. You take a step. You ensnared. You're in a trap. You lost what was about to happen and what was about to come. Something again, another weight. Hallelujah. Amen. Some other priority, some other plan. You take a step back. Hallelujah come your way and if you look at your life for the last 20 years how many times you're going backward 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 by the things that is coming and ensnaring you and trapping you from moving forward and then you blame God but God where are you I paid my tithes I was there on Sunday where are you hallelujah and the Bible is clear evaluate yourself but let me tell you those traps those traps are so deceptive sometimes you cannot avoid it by yourself you need God in your life you need to be in church so the word of God can direct you you need to be in prayer you need to read the word of God so the Holy Spirit can show you which road is a trap which friend is a trap which business venture is an ensnare that's gonna trap you and stop you from God's blessing coming over let's stand in the presence of God Let us run this race. Let us run this race, church. Let me tell you, it's not hard. Some of you think, hey, it's high. This is baya baya. What? Maklik? No, moilik. Near. This is not hard. When you are in God, it's easy. It's maklik. It's easy. Because you're not doing it, God is doing it for you.
That is why he said, come unto me all that are heavy laden and burdened. It's such a joy to wake up in the morning and say, God, I give my today into your hands. I give my problem and cares into your hands. I give my headache of this husband in your hand. <laughs> and the headache of this wife also. Into your hands, God. It's your problem. I'm going to rest in you. I'm going to praise you for my victory. It's not your battle. I mean it. It's not your battle. It's God's battle. He already gave you victory on the cross. So on a daily basis, go on your knees. Muniz come with us. Don't be ashamed. The distance between a problem and a solution is the distance between the floor and your knee. Amen. It's only small. Some people's knee is big. Some is small. So, don't be ashamed to go on your knees. Sunday, I'm going to anoint everybody in the morning service. And those that want to go on their knees, go on your knees. It's your father. You're acknowledging him in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm going to pray for you. That that snare, that weight, that is keep on pulling you back and making you to be where you are today. You could have been a pastor by now. You can be an elder in a church. You can be a businessman. You can be a manager. But that thing that weight always come and pulls you back and you back into square one. I pray the anointing of God cancels it in the name of Jesus. I pray that you rise over that limitation. I pray the glory of God rest upon you. Those that are online also. The glory of God to rest upon you. Right now, if it's healing that you need, it's your faith that will make you whole. Deliverance, you need a job. Nobody's too old to get a job. I know people 80 years old, they're still working. There's no sell by date on you, expiry date. Abraham was 100 years and he was still fresh. God can make you fresh in the name of Jesus. It's not too late to open business. It's not too late to open business. It's not too late to apply for the promotion. It's not too late to knock at company doors. It's not too late to trust God for complete deliverance and healing. It's not too late to buy multiple properties. Amen. Why settle for one property? In Jesus' name. Some of you don't own your first property. May you buy your first property. In Jesus' name. Anybody wrote your request? Amen. We're going to just put that up here. Yeah, just put it out there. The two bottles. You can bring your request and put it in these bottles. Put it here, brother. Put it the second stairs. You can just bring your request and then we're going to pray. If you didn't write your request, you can bring it on Sunday also. You can bring it on Sunday also. Just squeeze it, make it small. Nobody wants to read your request. So once it's in it, it cannot come out. This church, we don't read requests and prophesy. We don't need that. We prophesy without... Re
Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Can the worship team sing a song, please? Thank you, Jesus. We glorify you, God. Oh, you. Break every chain. Break every chain. There is power. Break. What must I break? There is power. Eyes closed, every head bound, heads lifted up to Jesus. Heavenly Father, I pray for every request that has been put in this bottle. Those that did not write their request, you know already their needs also. Those that are online, those hundreds and hundreds of people that send their request on WhatsApp to me, oh God. I bring those requests right now under this anointing also. I pray, O oh God, over this request right now. You said, let your request be known, O oh God. And as I put my feet on it, Father, I put my feet, O oh God, that's where it belongs in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, that every need is taken care of. It's answered supernaturally, O oh God. That there will be jobs, there will be promotions, there will be healing, there will be deliverance, oh God. There will be breakthrough, there will be favor, new opportunities, oh God. Your children shall rise, Father God. Testimony shall flow. Every request, every prayer shall be granted in the mighty name of Jesus. Those that are online, the prayer also go for them, oh God. Every request shall be granted in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Let's give the Lord a hand. Amen. You may be seated. Church, we're going to have this request. Uh, we're going to burn it on Sunday after this service. So uh, you still got an opportunity to write. Amen. If you are in this church, don't send me a WhatsApp. Hallelujah. Amen. I, today I've been going through the WhatsApp over. Remember, I've got 10,000 subscribers and hundreds of messages from outside people of the prayer request. Amen. So just make it a bit easy for me. Amen. Bring your request. So yeah, we will burn it. It's more effective. Bring your, let there be a touch. Let there be a transaction between me, you, as your apostle, as your spiritual father, that let me lay hands on it in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, I'm laying hands on the phone. It's still touching. Yes, I do agree. But as, as the sons and daughters of this church, bring it and come in the mighty name. So you can bring it on Sunday. 
and uh, early morning just put it in the as soon as you come you can just pour it amen or oh, after service is fine we will pray over it and then the elders will burn it in the mighty name of Jesus are you blessed church amen do you think all the weight is removed amen you got your togs on you got your running shoes on your high heels is off your boots is off your weights is off you're going to finish this race amen I declare that over you you're going to finish this race in the mighty name and not only you you're going to bring people to finish the race with you bring the people from Westbury from nuclear coronation Riverley, wherever bring them from the streets tell them come to the church in the mighty name there's hope for people in Jesus name you are the ambassador to bring that good news to people you might save a life I'm saying you very 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 honestly you might save a life in Jesus name amen let's stand in the presence of God Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord Jesus. I cover your children under the precious blood of Jesus. I pray the love of God, the peace of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us till we meet again. Remember on Friday, I will be online. I'll be prophetically declaring on everybody online on Friday. On Glory Divine World Ministry Facebook. Sunday, Hapa said, let us meet, bring somebody and come. We're going to put a little bit more chairs on Sunday. Watch the space because it's going to get overpacked. God richly bless you. Amen. We invite you to become a partner in our global ministry which is touching lives and transforming situations all over the world. When you become a partner, you are investing in fertile soil and the Lord will richly reward you with heaven's best. Church banking details are on the screen. And if you'd like to sow a seed of honor, directly deposit it into Dr. Ryan's personal account. For e-wallets, apps like Cash Send, Standard Bank Instant Money or any other instant cash services, kindly use our church WhatsApp number to send the voucher number as well as collection PIN. Because when you sow in good soil, indirectly your money is going to places where you cannot go. When you partner with the Kingdom Vision, God will make sure that your needs are provided for. So sow your seed today.